Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Hillman here. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Um, I'm a fourth year medical student in Maastricht University in the Netherlands. And um, yeah, if you like the content I share, feel free to subscribe, like, and all these kind of things. Let's spread the news. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about um, how to get into medical school, like the title already reads, how to get into medical school in Maastricht, because that's the only place I, I try to get into medical school and I got into medical school. So I'm going to be basically talking about how the process was for me, like a rundown of the process in general, then how it was for me as a, as a foreign student, as a Cameroonian, as an African student, just my own experience and how that was different from the others, or at least the way I perceived it different from the others. Uh, like a typical European who's applying to medical school year then. Um, and then maybe I'm going to like give very handy tips on or things to take into account when you're applying to Maastricht University because the application to Maastricht University is quite different from other universities and other medical schools. So I'll give some handy tips there. So definitely you want to stick around for that or just maybe scroll to that part of the video. But I will not advise you to miss any part of the video because it all just comes together to form one whole piece. Um, and then at the end, I'm going to be um, maybe or in between, I'm going to be mentioning some differences because I know a lot of people who are watching these videos are thinking about applying to maybe Maastricht or Groningen because those are the two English programs in medicine. And even if you're applying just to a Dutch program, I'm also going to give some difference, differences in the universities um, with regards to the application process and just the program in general. So if you're curious about that as well, just stick around for that. Um, but without further ado, let me just get right into the video. Let's start with like a general rundown of the process. What, is, what does it take to apply to medical school here? So of course you have to finish high school and when you finish high school, um, you apply via CityLink um, because all everyone who goes to university in the Netherlands has to apply via CityLink. So you apply via CityLink, which is a Dutch website. CityLink has all the, all the study programs for every university. So you click your study program, um, fill in all the details they ask you to fill in and then you send in your application basically when you submit on studiolink studiolink automatically sends your application to the universities right all this information is on the website normally but when you apply via studiolink the, the university reaches out to you and be like hey we've got your application um we need this 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 and this from you so we can process your application so when you do that send it in send it in send it in for magic university the medical pro program is very specific. So they're very specific with the selection and the documentation they need. So most of the time you're reaching out to the university um, um, about the medical application procedure and the selection procedure will not help you. So you're rather good or better off just sending an email to like the, the selection the selection board or committee or whatever because they can answer the questions better but basically when you send this document in the admissions office looks at the documents and everything and if it's okay good and fine if it's not okay then they ask you to maybe send some new documents or rectify the documents or clarify things for them and when everything is okay you are eligible for the selection round one um which is like the whole portfolio thing or at least back in the year because it's worth mentioning as well that the selection procedure has changed when i did it in 2017 it was different from now uh, but the core principle stays the same, but the overall application procedure has changed a little bit. So you might want to keep an eye out for that as well. And I'm also going to try to mention the differences in between, which are like obvious for you to take into consideration when applying. So once the first part is you're ready for the first part, you've done your portfolio, you come for the selection day, um, you have the test written and, and um, computer test, I think, if it's still the, the same way. Um, but I think this has changed now because you have to write an essay. Uh, but back then it was like a computer test, a written test. That's the second part of the selection. And then that was around somewhere in February. And then in April, you get your rank number. And based on your rank number, you could be admitted or not, right? So that's a basically an overview of what the process is like. Okay, now let's talk about how it was for me specifically. Let's start with my diploma. My diploma was Cameroonian, my high school certificate. I did not do an IB, I did not do an EB, nothing like that. I went to a typical Cameroonian boarding school, high school, got my GCE from there, ordinary and advanced levels. Um, and that was like a hassle getting that like recognized here because they, they didn't have that many Cameroonian students back then, apparently. So they did not really know what my diploma was equivalent to. And the Dutch government, because I also lived here for a year to integrate before going to medical school, the Dutch government told me my diploma is equivalent to HAVO 5. That basically translates to I need to go back to high school and do two years before going to university. That would be translated to you have to study the language first, which I did not know back then, and then go to high school for two years and then go to university. That's a three year detour. So I was not ready to do that. Unfortunately for me, the university does their own like independent um, research thingy to see if your diploma is actually up to the level. So they ask you to send transcripts. 
um, recommendation letters, subjects you did, curriculum, everything you could possibly get your hands on. You had to get so i had to get all these things from cameroon they had to post some send some via email it was a whole hectic procedure just to get my diploma you know recognized as, at the same level like i already went to the university for six months in cameroon and i think that's probably what helped me um because now i see they've changed the requirements on the website as well for cameroonians so i think that probably also helped me like get my diploma recognized by the university but then i had to do that as well um as a foreign student as a cameroonian student because my diploma was he had to go through more scrutiny um then of course i had to pass the language exam and then you have the point which i think a lot of people are struggling with if you have deficiencies um because you you have um physics biology chemistry and math which you always have you always need to have for medicine and a lot of students who do like ib eb from what i've seen or from those who have to spoken to me they don't have one or more of these subjects and then you have to of course do it because without these four subjects you cannot get admitted unless you have some special case I don't know but generally these four things you need to have and um if you keep messaging the university i would definitely advise you if you know you're not if you don't have these subjects just try as early as possible to sign up for like the courses because i think the university recognizes two like those ones are automatically recognized if your diploma is not if you're if you if you don't have one of these subjects you have boswell beta they're all dutch um and ccvx they're dutch like organizations i think I don't know if they're organizations, but the, basically what they do is they offer you classes and they offer you exams, which you will take in this subject. And those exams are automatically recognized by the university. So if you take the biology, chemistry, physics or math exam with these people, um, it's automatically recognized by the university as well. And you, you have cleared that deficiency. So, but you have to start early. They also have online courses now, because I recently checked the other day and they have um, courses which they offer online it's like an intensive course which you take even if you've not had the subject before i think they also make provision for that so like even the beginners level can also just get the the required amount of knowledge in a, in a period of time so that's definitely something you would want to check early enough to make sure that you've cleared all your deficiencies because if you really have deficiencies that will not work for you so fortunately for me i got the deficiency i didn't have any deficiencies so i was okay miraculously i did not have any deficiencies so that was really good so then after that now everything was basically set i filled my portfolio and this is something i'm going to mention later as well in the handy tips but the portfolio is a quite important part of the of the application process you would like to put energy in this thing because they actually score your portfolio um, but i'll come back to that later when i'm talking about the tips on how to apply so the portfolio was the next part and then your portfolio is like uh, they, they think your portfolio is okay then you go to the next round of the selection and i guess for me the hardest part was just the first part um the 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 test itself the selection day test itself the computer test i had problems typing because i was slow in typing and seeing all these people just typing fast and going on and finishing early when i still have like half the exam still left to go that was a little demoralizing but eventually it was fine um, i got in i don't know how i got in miraculously but i think the, the challenging part is getting the first part properly done right and then the next part which is the selection day itself that is going to figure out itself right but i guess this is like a good segue to get into the next point which is like handy tips to keep in mind when applying to Maastricht university first one first and most important one Maastricht university compared to other universities focuses more on you as a doctor right? like a doctor for the people practicalities of the study program so they're not necessarily interested in like good grades and stuff which is good no 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 don't get me wrong that is definitely essential as well but that is not i feel personally that is not the main focus for magic university because if you look at the selection exams for other universities in the netherlands even Groningen, it's more theory based you have to have the knowledge you have to have the biological knowledge math knowledge chemistry knowledge and for me that was a tricky thing because when i applied for medicine i've been out of school for like a year so all this knowledge was like evaporated um so it was really good for me that Maastricht was not really focused on the knowledge but they were more focused on you as a person how do you think already do you have a, a, a way of thinking that is 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 fitting of a medical student like they give you scenarios what do you think about this scenario how would you react to that scenario what kind of emotions are, are triggered by a scenario for example all these kind of things small nuances that's what they are more interested in they're, they're less interested in your theoretical knowledge of course it's important and they put that they do test that in multiple ways but they really focus on you as a person so i'll really not be bothered if i don't have that much knowledge on biology chemistry physics of course it's important eventually to study medicine but like for the selection that's not where the focus on so that's the first tip just try to be yourself try to try to just if, if it's something if medicine is something you really want to do i feel like it's going to eventually just 
show itself and just just feel free to be yourself and just you know yeah you get the point um second tip the extracurriculars i think this is something which is really important i did not know how important it was back then but they don't want you to just be a book student like someone who just studies because everyone can study books or right? everyone can study and, and pass or most people can study and pass but they want to see what makes you different from others what have you what are you doing outside your studies so like sports um leading organizations being part of boards um volunteering uh, gap year how do you fill your gap year um do you have work experiences do you have team team player experiences all these things guys really play a big role take it from me you definitely want to build if you're someone who's looking forward to studying in mastery and you, like studying medicine in mastery and you're wondering what what do i need to prepare myself yes increase your volume at this part of the video increase it increase it because you really want to build yourself as more than just someone who studies and passes exams that is important for sure but imagine they're looking for someone who is just a little more because we have to they always they have the slogan go the extra mile and i feel like that has to start before you come here like go volunteering go do, do stuff which is extracurricular go play sports be a team player all these things reflect really well on your portfolio they reflect really well trust me people who have done like emergency ambulance jobs and all these kind of things those things really reflect well and they're scored as well they're scored higher i know i've spoken to people who strongly feel like they were rejected because they didn't have enough extracurriculars and i can believe that because that's something they really they really um hold higher in maastricht so those are the two tips i'll definitely um, um give you one um the extracurriculars and two um just be yourself they're looking for a human being not just a knowledge box so just be yourself and 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 extracurriculars working extracurriculars as well and apart from that guys i think i think the selection procedure is it's okay except for the beginning it's a little of a hassle figuring out what you need to submit and what you don't need to submit and all this kind of stuff um but eventually just ask questions email the selection committee they, they are, they're there to answer these questions ask them they would answer and i think the difference between for example this is like another part of the video as well the difference between mastering and Groningen, for example Groningen has like different like a different whole um course system they have like four tracks master has two tracks some of the tracks are similar for example they have global health fair here you have international tracking medicine more or less potato potato almost the same thing but i think yeah for me the biggest difference might be just been the selection because there is more like a knowledge-based selection you get chapters you have to read and reproduce but here is more like you cannot really or back then back then you could not really prepare for the selection exam but now i heard you have to write like an essay and stuff like that i don't know how the whole essay thing works just let me know in the comment section below if you want to actually know how the whole essay thing works i can like have an interview with someone who did that and maybe they can tell me their own opinions or let you guys know what they thought about the essay i think there's a confidentiality agreement there where they're not allowed to share that much but they can maybe give you an idea of how the essay thing works just let me know in the comment section if you want to see a video on that um but yeah guys uh for now that has been it i hope this video can help someone give you guys more clarity because i know a lot of people have been messaging me emailing me about making a video just explaining a little bit about what it takes to get into medical school uh, i know it, it's tough everywhere it's tough everywhere from my experience I, I don't even know how i got in one go one just one try and i got in that's like a miracle a blessing huge one but i think you can you can you can do it it just takes you being yourself a lot of people try to always force it and i don't know study too much or whatever Mashuk University is different in that aspect. And I think, um, apart from the essay, which I don't know how it works now, I think the other part, if I remember properly, the portfolio is just, you can you can, you can can build build stuff leading up to that. You know, you can work on it. And I think if you begin in time, you would definitely be fine. And I think it's worth it. Getting into medical school in Mashuk University is definitely worth it. That should not be a question you ever have whether or not Mashuk University is worth it because the university is good. The program is good. The study program, it's so practical from day one. You start seeing patients, you start having consultations, you start doing blood pressure measurements and all these kind of things. Very practical. Like the knowledge you get in your third year, which I have now, I'm like, wow, I would not have had this in seven years if I studied medicine in Cameroon, for example, or another country. So I think the medical program is definitely, is definitely, is definitely a, a must have so if you're thinking about maastricht don't even doubt the veracity of the program itself it's 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 really good so just just do your best for the selection procedure um let me know if you have any questions feel free to subscribe i'm going to be releasing more videos about what it's like as a medical student in maastricht and just life in general as a medical student 
Um, so feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of the content when it comes out. Like this video. Um, I heard it helps with the publicity and spreading the word to other people who want to know about this. Um, and just let me know in the, in the comment section if you have any other topics you want me to talk about. Uh, this, this video is from people who said they wanted to hear stuff about this. So I was like, okay, I have to deliver on this. So let me know in the comment section if there's something specific you want to know and I can make a short video on that. Um, but yeah, guys, until then, um, hope you all stay safe. Stay healthy and thanks for stopping by.